researchers could not properly identify the sound tea bush because they thought only the china bush can be called and so great was the amount shy guy shy guy Welcome back to Foodie Finds with the Fulcrum. We might stick with that name. I'm your host, Aziza Kagzi, and joining me today is Fulcrum's co-editor-in-chief, Kavi. Hi. Today, we're going to be trying the Shy Guys. Let's go. I'm over here at Shy Guys with one of the owners, Huzaifa. Who, Huzaifa, can you tell us a little bit about the Shy Guys story and why you guys decided to start up here at Uottawa? Yeah, for sure. So basically, it was uh, so there's three of us. We all were friends from like best friends from high school, and we went to University of Ottawa as well. So we all like we all wanted to try something business-wise. We all did commerce, and we all you know have jobs and stuff like that in that area. But we definitely wanted to run something. Like my wife is from Dubai, and then Fahid's sister moved to Dubai, and Ozer also went to Dubai. The three owners. While we were there, we were really enjoying the Karak China, and we were thinking to ourselves like. In university, like we didn't really have too much, especially because we we're here when it was transitioning from the um, like the old cap to the new cap, and it was a little bit like messy. But we really wanted, like me personally, I can't drink coffee too much. But I found that chai was a lot more calm. It was like I still got the energy needed for studying and working. But um, I don't know what it is, but it just for me personally, all of, all of us was we needed chai. So then we thought, why why don't we have karak chai in Ottawa? We started doing it small events here and there and stuff like that. We started R&D it and our wives really liked it. And uh, basically from there, we thought, you know, this would be really cool on university campus. And uh, we approached the university, they were very receptive, they were very helpful. Obviously their concern is, you know, they want to have the best food experience for, for their customers and, and, and for their, their, their students, right? So we tried out and we thought people were pretty receptive to it. They, they really enjoyed it. We were doing pretty well. We also were thinking in our minds, like for food wise, a lot of times we want something quick between classes and we don't want it expensive especially with like the affordability issues right now and stuff like that. So we introduced samosas and our stuffed nuns as well. So we thought that was like the market we were trying to go for. We didn't want to make it too expensive and we wanted it to be very quick. So that was our, our mindset that people didn't wait too long in line. Like there was a line here, it cleared up pretty quickly. We went from that and uh, again, it was pretty, people were pretty well. And then we also wanted to do health smoothies because there's no health smoothies on campus. So we introduced the mango sunrise and paradise sunset. We had other ones last year just because of uh, space issues we couldn't we took them out just because we were trying to focus on what's more popular but they're made with real fruits there's no like added we don't put in like added sugar for those drinks uh, it's like the house smoothie option we have a collagen add-on uh, and all of our products are halal of course we just added mango lassi it's on here um, and also mojitos and lemonade but yeah that's basically our story it's not too too crazy but um we're, we're happy how it turned out and what do you love so much about Garak Jai and like the specific menu items that you provide and like how they're made and the their flavor profiles and their the ingredients that are used in them? Yeah, so the Karak Chai, we did not want to cheap out. So like a lot of times people use powders and stuff like that or they do the dip chai. So like one was like, we want something that has like caffeine amount. So the amount of tea in these Karak Chais is very similar to coffee in terms of caffeine. Um, but again, for me, just, it hits slower and longer. That's that's for me personally. But we we do everything from like, we have the tea leaves, we have the fresh, like we, we use real cardamom, we grind it, real cinnamon, grind it, and then we brew it for almost an hour. So that's where it's different. Like it's not like dip tea from other stores. It's, it's brewed for an hour and uh, we have to make it work obviously this location but we got the same experience like normally before we we're doing like a big stove in the backyard <laughs> um but uh, this one was a very it was almost exactly the same experience so that's my personal favorite that's my go-to for sure uh the karak chai but um then the thing was the mango lassi we didn't really find like one in ottawa that we really liked like they're all like it was like either too much pulp or too little so we thought we'd hit that as well and uh, after a couple months of trying different things out, we got a really good recipe for that as well. So I'm, I'm really into drinks, to be honest, and then I really like sweets. But yeah, and then the food-wise, I, I love samosa. <laughs> and uh, especially when I'm hungry, like the tandoori, like if I'm kind of just feeling a small snack, samosas really hit nicely. But um, if I want a full meal, like the, the stuffed naans, um, it really is. And even the cheese, like we worked really hard to get. Yeah, I'm really excited to try some of the things that you mentioned. It sounds like you have a very comprehensive menu for students that are looking for like a quick bite to eat between classes, something that's budget friendly. So let's try some of those menu items. Thank you so much, Zaifa. No, I'm so just sorry, just one thing I forgot yeah. to add, but like we are in the res plan as well. Okay. Uh, for people on campus. Uh, okay. So like if you use your student card, we do accept that as well. Okay, perfect. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so we finally got all our food. We have a lot of food over here. Um, we got the Zother cheese. Was it the Zother cheese? Yes. Pie? Um, the, the strawberry rose mojito a, a garak chai, a dirty chai, um, a vegetable and beef samosa, and a mango lassi. So let's start. Let's okay. start. So I have the karak chai, which is basically chai with spices in it. Mm -hmm. um, and you have the dirty chai, yeah. which I'm told is 
chai with coffee in it. Yeah. Um, which I've never had before. Yeah. We shall try it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, fire as always. So this one, this is very fire, but like it has like a slight bitterness to it that definitely gives you that coffee flavor, but okay. like it still maintains like the spice blend, that flavor of chai that like so many people love. Chai is traditionally meant to have like a mixture of spices like cinnamon, cardamom, things like that. You know, it also has that kind of like deeper, richer coffee flavor like underlaying it, which I really like. I mean, if I was like honestly craving like a mix of the two, I'd, I'd go with this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. This one is very like quintessential like chai. It's very straight up, but that's what I like about it. Okay, Shall we try it? Yeah, let's, okay. let's switch. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, we didn't even cheers. Oh, <laughs> hey, cheers. cheers. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely taste the coffee in this one. Yeah. You definitely can, but it's good. It's yeah. like it's almost it's like a spiced coffee basically. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And you know, fun fact about chai, it actually originates from the Assam region of India, which is northeastern India, where it was like a blend of spices that was said to have medicinal properties and was used for various like remedies. As it's developed, the recipe has introduced black tea, milk to it, and it's this rich blend of spices and milk and tea, tea. <laughs> that, that stretches from like Eastern Asia to mid the Middle East as well. And like, it's so cool how like this has gone from across the peninsula and is so loved by so many. And there's so many variations of it. Like yeah. Garak Jai is very loved um, in like the Middle East as well. And I know that the owners were also inspired by their trip to Dubai to tr introduce this to university students. So yeah, this honestly reminds me a lot of just masala chai that you have in India. So mm -hmm. it's something, yeah, some a very familiar and a very like warm and rich flavor that like, if I need a pick me up, this is what I would get. Yeah, actually, yeah. I feel like this is good for when you need the caffeine, when you need that like, you need the energy for some stuff, but like this is good as like a warm, comforting, like sometimes like I have a class that is like right down the hall at like 7 p.m. and should I be drinking chai at 7 p.m.? I don't know, but this is like the best thing when you're just like, okay, it's so cold outside. It's like nighttime. I can see like the stars. Let me go to my class and have like this warm cup of chai. Mm -hmm. That's, it's honestly the best. I don't yeah. think anything can beat the OG. Yeah, but, for sure. Yeah. Okay, next we have the strawberry rose mojito and also mango the lassi. mango lassi, which we're really grateful for because it's like 29 degrees. So yes, okay. let's try that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah. This is so refreshing. Yeah. It has like that kind of slight sweetness from the strawberry and it's like carbonated and really fresh and like lemony. It's mm -hmm. just like a cool calm drink for like the perfect thing that you would want for a summer day. This one is interesting because I've seen mango lessi. I feel like there's two categories, right? Some people make it more watery and some people make it like thicker. And this is definitely more on the watery side. Okay. But I feel like it works better in the summer heat as opposed to like the really thick like yogurty type, which I feel like works best in the winter. Sure. Swap. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. It's got that sourness from like a fresh mango, but it's also sweet. But honestly, like a good mango lassi, like just it lifts your up, mood. Yeah. It lifts your mood. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think this one is like, I'm kind of struggling to place what the flavor is. It all, honestly, like, it's more like a, like a candy sort of taste. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even know, like, I know what is in here, but like when I taste it, it just feels like you're eating like candy. Yeah. Yeah. Which but is, it's, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. You know, if you're looking for something light, like I feel like you'd go with the mojito, but honestly, if you're looking for something like that will satiate you a bit more, I feel like exactly. I'd go with yeah. the mango lassi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next, let's move on to, um, the Zothir pie? Okay, sure. Okay. Okay, do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Yeah. Next we have the Zothir and cheese pie. Cheers. Cheers. I really love this. This is so fresh. And Zothir has that like tangy, earthy taste to it. 
that like is also complemented by the cheese that's in here you know if you're looking for a quick snack that like you maybe had your lunch maybe you didn't maybe you just want like something that will keep you going for the rest of the day this will would definitely be it like i don't know if it has nuts in it but it feels a little like it has that sort of flavor of nuts almost mm -hmm. but it's good it honestly reminds me of like you know that snack like the indian snack like the the like <laughs> they're like things that are like they're like the sticks. What sticks? So zathar is a spice blend that dates back all the way to the 12th century and originates in Palestine and quickly spread all over the Middle East and is so loved by so many, including a lot of Asians, South Asians, and it went across Asia and the world. Here, Pavel, you try some. <laughs> How is it, cameraman? Good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Fire. Okay, that's it for photo. Okay, next we'll try the samosas. I have the beef one here. And Kavi the has the vegetarian one. Because Kavi is vegetarian. And this place is very vegetarian friendly. It so is. it has it a is, lot yeah. of options for that. Yeah. Alright, let's try it. Okay, cheers. cheers. Mm. This is delicious. Like, this is a banger. And I think that it's also gotten better from like their blend that they had or their recipe that they had from last year this is amazing it, they're sold for like 250 this is like a perfect snack for like the middle of the day in between classes i would grab this for sure 100 percent. yeah honestly for me samosas like need like the quintessential i keep saying quintessential the most important thing for a samosa is the potato to peas ratio okay mm -hmm. and i feel like that has to be nailed because i feel like for me when i taste it potatoes and peas are both equally like strong and so if you don't have like a ratio that matches them up you end up losing the flavor of one of them entirely but i feel like this does like a really good job like when i bite into it i can taste both the potato and the peas and like the outsides are really like, crunchy but like soft at the same time okay no yeah. notes yeah honestly these are bangers 20 out of 10 samosas for me <laughs> i would rate this like Mm, like 20 potatoes out of 20 peas. Mm. Yeah. The only thing that would make this like even better for me if, is if I could like mix it with a chutney. Mm -hmm. Like, um, samosas are commonly paired with tamarind chutneys or spicy green chutneys, coriander and mint. I would love to pair like this samosa with that. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would kind of do the same thing. Um, I think that like not a lot of people do this, so I can't fault them because it's pretty uncommon. But I love when people add corn to like samosas too. When they do like the the peas, like potato and corn in it. I feel like that just elevates it to like a new level. Um, I don't know about so, that one. <laughs> no, so that's like the only thing that I would I would fix. Okay, and I know that they do, they did at one point have chutneys. I think they ran out of them right now, mm -hmm. but yeah, would love the chutneys again. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Tavi, what was your favorite menu item? Um. I feel like for like, if I were just to like close my eyes, go in there and like choose something, like without thinking about it too hard, this is definitely what I'd go for, the karak chai. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is honestly probably my favorite menu item, followed very closely by the dirty chai actually. I was a bit hesitant to try it because I've never had like tea and coffee mixed together. And in my mind, I was like, I don't even understand how that would work together. but. It does work. It works in this. I'm like pleasantly surprised by this one, but like close second to the karak chai for sure. Well, Aziza, what was your favorite? Honestly, definitely the karak chai, but I would pair that with the beef samosa for sure. Oh, your favorite item. This one. That one? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Did you try any of the chais, Pavel? Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Try the chai. Yeah. So that one's the, the like regular chai, basically. Yeah. <laughs> this one is like the coffee chai, basically. I prefer this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this one's fire. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Foodie Finds with the Fulcrum. We might actually stick with that name. Join us next time. <laughs> that, what, that's it. Join us next time when we go eat somewhere else. Yeah. Because we forgot to bring our lunch. <laughs> I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah.